The dental pulp is a vital component of the tooth, located at its core, beneath the hard outer layers of enamel and dentine. Understanding the biology of the dental pulp is crucial in dentistry, as it plays a pivotal role in diagnosing and treating conditions such as dental caries, infections, and trauma that can affect the health and vitality of this essential dental tissue. The development of the dental pulp is a fascinating process that begins during embryological tooth development. The dental pulp arises from the dental papilla, which is part of the tooth germ. As the tooth continues to form, the dental pulp undergoes morphological changes and eventually differentiates into specialized cells and tissues found in the mature pulp. The dental pulp is a complex tissue located within the tooth, occupying the pulp chamber and root canals. It consists of various cell types, including odontoblasts, fibroblasts, blood vessels, and nerve fibers. In some cases, lymphatic vessels have also been shown to be present. Now let's zoom in a little bit closer to explore the histological composition of the dental pulp. It can be divided into different histological zones, starting from the periphery or outside and moving inwards. These zones include the odontoblast layer, cell-free zone, cell-rich zone, and the pulp core. The odontoblast layer contains odontoblasts, surprisingly enough, which are responsible for dentine formation. The cell-free zone is a region with very few cells and reduced metabolic activity. The cell-rich zone, as the name suggests, contains various cell types, including fibroblasts and immune cells. The pulp core is a central region with abundant blood vessels and nerve fibers. Now that we've explored the structure and development of the dental pulp, let's delve into the vital functions. The dental pulp is not merely a passive tissue. It actively contributes to the health and integrity of teeth. Firstly, the dental pulp initiates and forms the dentine, the hard tissue that makes up the bulk of the tooth. During tooth development, or odontogenesis, it plays a pivotal role in laying down dentine matrix contributing to the overall structure and strength of the tooth. As the tooth's architect, the dental pulp continues to form dentine throughout the tooth's lifespan. It ensures that dentine remains a dynamic tissue capable of responding to external stimuli or injury. Additionally, the dental pulp acts as a protective barrier against harmful microbes and irritants that may try to invade the tooth. It contains immune cells and sensory nerve fibers that can detect and respond to threats. Furthermore, the blood vessels within the dental pulp supply the tooth with essential nutrients and oxygen. This vascular supply is critical for maintaining the vitality of the tooth and supporting its metabolic needs. And lastly, when the tooth is damaged due to factors like dental caries or trauma, the dental pulp has the ability to initiate reparative processes. It can produce tertiary dentine to help seal off and protect the pulp from further harm, promoting tooth health and longevity. To summarize, the dental pulp is a vital tooth component located beneath the enamel and dentine. Its development starts in the embryonic stage originating from the dental papilla. The pulp's histological zones include the odontoblast layer, cell-free zone, cell-rich zone, and the pulp core. The pulp's functions include dentine initiation and formation, protection against threats, nutrient supply, and tertiary reparative dentine formation. Understanding these aspects is crucial in dentistry for diagnosing and treating dental conditions effectively.